Hey, I'm Kevin, and thank you for stopping by and checking out my first video. This video is going to be my experience going out and trying my hand at photography. I don't have very much experience at all, and I tend to ramble, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to head to one of my local trails. Um, the, it's called the Ghost Town Trail, and there's a couple spots that I want to try and get some good compositions from, but we'll see how it goes. The, the weather isn't great, it's kind of, kind of cold, but um, looking forward to at least getting out, getting out into the woods and seeing what I can come up with. So I will see you at the trails. So made it to the first spot that I wanted to go to. And I will turn around here. There we are. It is this bridge. So we are at the trail and it's probably about a kilometer and a half from where we started. Um, it's a very, very nice bridge. The lighting I hope is good. I'm not too familiar just yet with some of that. But when the clouds kind of move a little bit because it's also super windy, it's also like six degrees celsius right now which is a little cold and uh once the the clouds move the light comes out a little bit and i'm really hoping that i can get a really nice just clean shot um the whole goal of this outing is to play around with my settings my aperture iso um you know all that stuff that i'm still learning trying to work on and make progress with so Always keeping an eye out for bikes, other people walking, that kind of thing. Um, I will show you who has also decided to come with me on this trip. So say hi to Cole, way out there. <clears throat> so that being said, I am going to try and get a couple shots and we will see what happens. I will probably post them at the end of this video. Um, we'll see. So if you have any criticism, any uh, constructive criticism, I guess. I mean, whatever. But uh, I'm always up for some some advice, some, some wisdom, some skills. Just kind of learning how to kind of compose the shot, uh, work with my lines a little bit, my lighting. Just so many things to consider, and I want to do the best that I can. So we will see. So I will see you in a bit. So I got some shots. Um, Hopefully they turned out all right. I was messing around a little bit with some shutter speeds and some ISO stuff. Um, boy, it is cold and I am struggling. But it was a good time. Uh, the light came out, as you can kind of see how it's, it's back here now. And it really looked good to my eye, but we'll, we'll caveat that with untrained eye. But... I liked it. I thought it did well. Uh, I was able to adjust the settings that I wanted to and take a few shots. I'm looking forward to getting them on the, the big screen, the monitor at the, in the office, and, and seeing what I can do with them in Lightroom. So I really feel like this time of year is challenging for me in the fact that everything just feels very gray. Everything kind of feels washed out, being that it's it's winter. Uh, the leaves are down. Everything just has that either gray or just brown look to it. Uh, I'm hoping that everything comes out all right. And I haven't done too much with Lightroom at all at this point in my journey, but I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do. So I am walking across that bridge that I just took a few photos of and um, the wind really started to pick up. Not sure if you can hear that, but it is really starting to get windy. Some cloud moving in and uh, it's making things a little tricky for me. Like I said, it's about six degrees Celsius and I think it's cooling off pretty quick. So I'm hoping that I can make it down here a little ways, probably another kilometer or two. And there's a shot that I really want to get because this, this trail is uh, about 10 minutes from my home. 
so I'm pretty familiar with it and I can I can get here pretty often which was kind of the goal because I wanted to scout these places out and test my skills a little bit um, but I'm realizing that I'm out of shape as well as I want to be able to come back here in different seasons so I want to try and get the same shot in different seasons in order to um, kind of compare and contrast a little bit and see year over year or month over month how things are improving for me how my skills are are growing because that's the goal you know I don't think I mentioned but a little bit about me and that I'm a software developer and I spend all my time in front of a computer which is great because it pays the bills but at the same time you know I'm kind of getting out of shape as you can hear from my huffing and puffing and uh, it's just being outdoors is always something that I've enjoyed I grew up you know fishing and being out in the woods and hanging out and just being outside and I really wanted to get into photography because I feel like I have a creative eye I feel like I have environments in which I can do this and take these pictures and uh, set up some really really good good shots so I really want to I want to improve I want to make progress and, and see what I can do um, I didn't put a lot of money into the hobby just yet um, I'm running a Canon uh, Rebel T3 or EOS Rebel T3 and it is not the best camera at all. I picked it up probably six years, seven years ago at this point on sale from maybe a yard sale or something. I don't even remember anymore. I know it wasn't from a shop or it wasn't really anything official but uh, it's, it's cheap so I'm I mean, you know, nothing's cheap. I want to take care of what I have. But if I would wipe out trying to get a good shot or it falls off the tripod or something, I would be able to kind of replace it a little bit. But I think it's a good, a very good beginner camera, which is where I'm at. I have a kit lens for it. I will post the details on that because I'm not really too, too familiar with all the ins and outs of it just yet but I do have a zoom lens and I believe that's a hundred to four hundred how again I'll double check all these numbers put them in the in the details below or maybe I'll overlay it maybe I'll get creative with some video and do some overlays so but yeah uh, that's kind of the the reasons for why I'm doing this I want to be able to hold myself accountable a little bit and make some progress and hopefully I can share some incredible photos with with you guys all right so I have this spot in mind that I want to be at and it is right behind me right now um, there's some really nice logs that are down some trees that are down and they're going kind of vertical up the hillside and they have this really unique green color that's hopefully coming through on video but it's it's popping really well and again the the lighting conditions aren't ideal right now they they keep going in and out the sun keeps going in and out of the clouds and um occasionally if i can get it just right it hits these trees right here and just looks just looks fantastic um really really excited to get this kind of shot because for me this wilderness or forest or landscape photography is what I really want to get into. So I'm going to get set up and spend some time here and try and get this shot. So I've been at the spot where the logs are running horizontally up the hill and they have that really nice green moss color. And I've been here uh, about 20 minutes and the light keeps going in and out a little bit and I just haven't been able to get that shot that I want um, 
I'm fighting the lighting a bit. I'm fighting my own lack of skill. But um, we'll get there. I just don't know that today is going to be the day that I'm going to get that shot that I really, really want. Um, I'll put up some pictures that I had taken. Um, or some photos that I've taken. I don't know. Pictures? Photos? Are they synonyms? I don't know. Um, still learning my terminology as well. But I'm becoming a lot more comfortable with the camera as far as changing settings on the fly, doing it fairly efficiently, um, doing a little bit of zooming and things. I have a macro lens as well that I'm enjoying using. I I do like the idea of being able to get some of that detail. Excuse me, boy, is it cold out here. <laughs> um, I do like the idea of getting some detail. If I could zoom up on some tree bark or uh, an interesting leaf pattern, that kind of thing. Um, I think there's a lot that I could do with that, and that I'd be, I'd be interested in putting something like that on the wall. I really enjoy just being able to practice a skill, uh, learn something new, and watch some, some development with it. So with that being said, I might keep walking down the trail. I've probably got an hour or so left of usable daylight, and um, there are a couple other spots that I want to get to that even if I don't get a good shot from, I'd like to at least see how I would compose that shot um, with my lines or any triangles. Those seem to be pretty popular buzzwords or keywords that, that I've researched and, and people find pleasing to the eye. So I'm going to keep on moving, both because it keeps me warm and because I'm losing daylight, but I will catch up with you in the next spot. So, as I walk on this trail, um, really just kind of looking for things that I could shoot as far as framing something up, getting a nice shot. I'm looking for lines, looking for some of those stones back there. You can see some of those right there. Yeah, so even some of these, this is an old rails to trails uh, park and so what they've done is they've taken out all the railroad ties and all the metal and things and they've converted it to a really really fantastic walking trail and so as I walk I'm trying to use my creativity using my my skills my eye I don't know um, just trying to find something that would really compose a great shot so that's where I'm at just kind of walking through looking for things keeping an eye on Cole he's up there somewhere but even something as simple as maybe this I mentioned earlier about having some macro shots some really close-up stuff and just looking at the lines here on this tree are just really really nice um, not sure if I could do anything with that having some of this right here even something in a portrait shot that probably didn't help anything but something like that would be really really nice so not every shot at least to me has to tell a story or has to oh, now we're getting some Sun coming out a little bit. I might lose it over that hill though. Between the clouds and the hills, you know, I live in uh, western Pennsylvania, so I get a lot of the Appalachian mountains and hills and valleys and things, which can really make some fantastic shots, but I need to learn how to get them. That's the, that's the trick. So that's what we're working on. But my gear, like I said, is very basic at the moment. I don't have the best equipment. I'm shooting the video that you're watching now on my Samsung 22 Ultra 
plus i don't know if there's a plus on there ultra whatever it comes with a neat little pen thing that i can use as a remote and stuff but i digress probably probably cut this part out me rambling I ramble a lot you'll find out if you stick around and watch but i'm coming to another bridge which i do want to get some comparison shots this might be a better bridge than the other one that I was at. I'm losing my light again, so we'll see. But there is some water. It does flow at a decent pace. I can do some of the longer exposure. Um, I don't know if there's an official term yet, forgive me, where the you kind of get that trailing effect or that very almost artsy look to it. But I enjoy the wilderness, I enjoy the landscapes, the outdoors, and that's what I want to focus on. So I'm coming up to this bridge. Let me flip you around up here, and we will see what we can do. I'll try and grab a couple shots. All right, well, I think I'm calling it for the day. Um, just a little bit longer, and I'm gonna start heading back. I've got about, I don't know, I'm just guessing, maybe a 5K walk, you know, about three miles to go back to the car. But it was a good time. I learned a lot for sure, and I will definitely break things down when I get back to the house. And we'll see what we come up with. I'm going to kind of recap this and explain a little bit about what I learned, what I could have done better for sure, and, and maybe what I'll do for next time as far as coming out maybe in a week or so and seeing if I can get some better shots with maybe doing a little bit more research and whatnot. So until then, I will see you back at home. Well, that didn't last long. I'm back. Um, I was walking along the trail and I really found this group of trees right here that I like. I don't know if it's the spacing on them or if it's some of their texture. There's not a lot of color to it, but let me show you what I'm looking at. And it's these trees right here. So from here to about right there, I feel like I could do something with that. And I'm just not sure what. If I would get closer to them, or if I could get a, a unique angle on them, be up higher. I'm really just not sure. But for whatever reason, they really caught my eye. And kind of want to do something with them. Whew. So, I'm back. And I can feel my fingers again. So that's always good. I had a bite to eat and I am excited to see what I got. I don't have much experience with Lightroom at all, but I believe Lightroom is where I want to try and edit my pictures. But for this video, because I don't have that experience just yet, I'm going to throw up JPEGs. I'm just going to put some JPEGs at the end here of what I captured. Good bad, ugly, I'm not sure, but we'll find out together. And if you have any tips, tricks, uh, criticism, constructive criticism, anything to help me improve or just some encouragement as I go along this journey, I would absolutely appreciate it. But for now, I will catch up with you next time. Take care, everybody.